Well, anytime you can uh, win games in conference play, uh, you're happy. And uh, I was definitely pleased with the win tonight. Uh, Longwood's got a good basketball team. And uh, we knew we were going to have to play well uh, to win the game. And uh, I thought we did a pretty good job. I thought uh, our turnovers were a little higher than I would like. Uh, but we had several uh, of our turnovers were kind of offensive fouls. So not, not quite as sloppy with the basketballs, uh, the stat sheet might indicate. But uh, overall, I thought we did a good job on both ends. Um, I thought we were able to keep them off balance a little bit defensively. Uh, we got to do a better job of guarding the ball. We put them on the free throw line 28 times. But but I thought our guys were flying around and giving good effort and giving, getting deflections and trying to be disruptive on the defensive end. And anytime you can do that, you're going to at least give your, yourself a chance to win the game. Yeah, that's what you say all the time. Justin Brown had some valuable minutes. And I talk about what he gave you tonight. I, I thought JB um, and, and Donovan Gilmore were really good tonight. Um, you know, their, their minutes were positive for our team. We, we look at the plus minus. Uh, you know, their stat sheet, their stat line is good on the stat sheet. Uh, but so too, uh, I guarantee you, when, when the plus minus uh, is revealed, is going to be positive. You know, when they go in the game, is our team winning or losing? And, uh, you know, what you can do some other things that may not show up on the stat sheet uh, that are positive. And, and those guys have done that. Uh, they, they've never hung their head because of minutes uh, or lack thereof. And uh, I, I just thought JB uh, particularly, uh, but also Donovan Gilmore were big lifts for our team coming off the bench. How impressed were you with the response from the team coming off a couple of losses and the way they played tonight? Well, I, I think tonight was just a, a public showcase of what our players have done over the last two days. Um, you know, those were tough losses on the road. Uh, at High Point and at Radford, uh, you can tend to uh, you know, start placing blame, uh, pointing fingers, uh, hanging your head. Uh, we haven't had any of that. As a matter of fact, uh, I think two of the better practices of the year have been the last two days. Uh, that's a little unusual coming off uh, the losses that we had. And, uh, you know, that's a good sign for this team going forward. Uh, to be able to face some adversity, not play well uh, here and there, and, and still stay stay the course and stay with each other, and uh, the results will take care of themselves. You know, we talk about them all the time, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask the question. He's had over 1,000 points, 600 rebounds, 200 assists, 200 steals. Second player in Big South history to ever accomplish that feat. Just how impressive is it to see those kind of numbers when you're talking about it, Ahmad Thomas? Uh, to, to do what he has done on both ends of the floor, uh, for his career, uh, he's just a, a, a he's a winner. He, he's a, a champion. He's a, a, a guy that you got to have on your team. He, he makes plays on both ends of the floor. He's just not a an offensive threat or or a defensive guy or a lockdown defender. Uh, he just does positive things for your team. Uh, you you look over the course of his career, uh, when Ahmad's in the game and playing well, Asheville wins. And uh, when Ahmad's not playing well or hurt or out, uh, we, we, you know, he, he just dictates winning. We talk a lot about who drives winning, who drives winning. You don't necessarily have to have big numbers uh, with points and rebounds or assists. Those are all nice. He's obviously done it. He's the second player ever in the history of the league with those kind of numbers. But Ahmad drives winning, and uh, he's, he's been great. I'm really proud of him. We're going to have to pick this building up and our fans up and take them with us on the road. Uh, we, we've been fantastic here at home, and uh, our guys love playing here. They love playing in Kimmel Arena. Uh, they love playing in front of their fans. And because of it, we've, we've been pretty good at home. Uh, I don't know what our winning streak is at home, but I believe we're 7-0 and now at home this year. Uh, we're 2-7 and seven on the road, so that's why we got to pick this place up and take it with us and, and find some of those things that make us so good here at home. Uh, those things have got to travel with us uh, for us to be a great team, but uh, Kim Arena has been great to us over the years. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.